Hey, this is Dan with CheapShooter.com, and today we're here with a tutorial to help you learn how to use the Levels tool in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, today we have an image from a Flickr user named AC4LT, so thank you for the image. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Levels tool to increase the contrast in this image. Um, it's a common problem on an overcast day like this, uh, where the images come out of your digital camera a little hazy. Um, this image almost looks like it has sort of a gray film over that and a lot of times people use the contrast command in uh, Adobe Photoshop to sort of cut through that gray haze but the levels tool actually is a much better way of doing it and gives you a much better idea of the precise adjustments you need to make to make this image look a lot better. To find the levels tool you go to image adjustment levels or hit control L on your keyboard what this does is this brings up a histogram of the image. A histogram is a visual representation of the brightness of each pixel within an image. So that's this graph we have right here. As you can see, everything in this histogram is sort of crowded towards the center. And that's sort of a visual representation of the gray haze. There's no real dark darks or real bright brights in this image. And that's what we want to fix. So it's a very easy fix using the levels command. Basically all we're going to do is move these sliders right here and we're going to move them so that they are on the outside edges of the histogram. The white slider to the far right of the levels palette here, that's your brightness, sli uh, brightness slider. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to drag it all the way over to the lowest part of that peak right there. You can see immediately the sky in the image starts to brighten up, and that's because we're changing the lightness of the image and sort of cutting through the gray there to make it more of a white. And I'm going to click the black slider, which is our black slider aptly, <laughs> and I'm going to drag that just to the edge of that peak. I'm going to go ahead and toggle preview on and off here so you can see the difference that that's made. That gray haze is sort of cut through the image, and we have something that, while it's still not a fantastic shot, at least is a lot more interesting in terms of colors and things. You want to be very careful when you're dragging the sliders not to drag them into the area of the histogram. Otherwise, you begin to clip the highlights in the image. So if I were to drag this white slider over further and further, you can see that it, be it begins to happen that our uh, sky gets blown out the further you go. So that's not what we want to happen. In order to avoid that clipping, just make sure you keep it on the outside edge there. And same with the blacks. If you come too far over, you start losing shadow detail. And while it can produce kind of an interesting effect, it's not really what we want for good exposure. We can go ahead and hit OK, and that's all there is really to it. Um, if you start using the Levels command, it's a good way of making sure that there's uh, the proper exposure in your images and also that the contrast in the images is a lot better and especially on a situation where there's a hazy day like this um, the levels adjustment in Photoshop is something that will come in handy an awful lot so until next time I'm Dan from CheapShooter.com be sure to pay us a visit we have uh, lots of Photoshop tutorials and photography information thanks